So we've seen a shell provisioner. Let's go ahead and see an Ansible provisioner and we'll see how to set that up. Now I can't really get into teaching Ansible because that's a whole course on its own, but we'll just see a setup here. So if you're familiar with Ansible, that's great. You'll see how to use it here. If you're not familiar with it, um, you'll get an idea of what it looks like. It's really, it's not too bad to take a look and just see what's going on. However, I am dumping a bunch of stuff at you here. So we're doing the type Ansible local. Um, Ansible local here in Packer is going to upload all the Ansible stuff to the server and then run Ansible on that server, which is why we installed Ansible within the shell script here, this base shell script. So the type is Ansible local. We're going to tell it to upload the playbook file, Ansible app.yaml. So this is the YAML file that tells it what to run within Ansible. This is the command we're going to use to run Ansible. So it's just Ansible playbook, which is the standard command, except we're doing a little bit extra to pass a vault password in case you use vault with Ansible to encrypt certain values. Role path. So these are the location of the roles for it to upload to the server. So the roles that are used within the playbook file here and extra arguments, we're going to pass it the vault password stuff here. This is a little bit of a trick. We're going to pass it a vault password file, but the file we're going to use is bin cat, which is uh, not a real file. It's actually a command. And we're going to echo the vault pass to the Ansible playbook command. So um, we're doing Ansible playbook. We're giving it the flag vault pass as bin cat and we're echoing and piping the uh, vault password into Ansible Playbook. And Ansible Playbook, that command, is actually going to successfully get the vault password that way. It's just a little bit of a trick there, a bit of a hack almost. Extra virus is another flag we're passing to the Ansible Playbook command. And one of the extra variables we're passing into Ansible via the Ansible Playbook command is infrastructure environment, which of course is just taking the value of our user variable uh, that we set in Packer called infrastructure environment as well. And then the group virus is just one more file, part of the Ansible configuration. So these files all need to exist inside of our Packer directory here. Um, you can see we have an Ansible directory and the Ansible directory has our roles, our playbook file, and this group variable file. So I actually have a copy of that in here. So I'm going to copy um, from my scratch directory here, the Ansible directory. I'm just going to copy that to our current directory, the Packer one here. So you don't, you don't have to sit here and watch me type all this out. And that Ansible directory is now here. So Ansible has this group virus directory and group virus. I have nothing in it, but this might be a place for you to put some variables that are used in your Ansible configuration, in particular secrets. And you might want to even encrypt it using Ansible vault roles. We have our app, our base, our Nginx, our PHP roles here. Our base one has a task of main here and the main here is going to do certain stuff. Um, install server basics. So we're going to install some basic packages that we want on the server, like MPT, wget, curl, uh, JQ, Tmux, all that good stuff. Download the AWS CLI command. So the AWS CLI command exists on the server. Add some extra configuration. In this case, we are we are configuring uh, automatic security updates via the unattended uh, upgrades package. And that's about it for the base. PHP is going to install PHP 8.0 using the Andre PHP repository. Install Composer. Add PHP FPM configuration. Nginx is going to install Nginx and configure it to use PHP using H5BP in our case uh, to use the configuration for Nginx. None of this super matters. I'm just showing you what I'm doing on this Packer server using Ansible here. And we have our playbook file here, app.yaml. It's going to run in all hosts. This is just running locally on that server. So all hosts is going to be the host local host in that case. The user is Ubuntu because that's the user uh, to run the commands as. Become yes, become user root. It's going to do sudo su under the hood essentially and just become user root to run this playbook, these playbooks. And we're going to run base PHP Nginx and app. And we actually see that this is adding and using the app uh, role here, which means over here, I need to actually include that. Otherwise, we would get an error. And let's check out the role app tasks main. Um, so we're going to ensure a public web root exists for our application. We're going to add an index.php file to that. We're going to remove default Nginx configuration. We're going to add our own Nginx configuration here and reload Nginx. So this is the Nginx configuration. It's going to set that web root. It's going to work with PHP 8.0. Great. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to run this. I'm going to open my terminal up here, clear it out, and we can do another packer build command. We'll pass a variable in for ambit staging once again. And we can do another variable here because we need a second one. So this other variable we need is going to be the vault password. So I'm just going to pass it um, as plain text here, but I'll show you how to make that um, based off of a file if you wanted to as well. And then we're going to run cloudcast.app. And before I do build, I'm going to run packer validate. And of course, it's a JSON file, not .app. And no errors. Great. 
So we could go ahead and run Packer build and we'll see what we get. Okay, so we can see before it installed Ansible and now it has uploaded Ansible and it's setting all the stuff it needs to, putting it in temp directory on the server and it's running our Ansible scripts here. So it's installing server basics and it's gonna install PHP and then it'll run through the Nginx roles and the application roles and all that good stuff. Okay, and this is actually finished. This is the play recap of Ansible, um, zero failed. So this actually finished successfully, that's great. This is doing the same thing as before. It's waiting for the instance to stop. That'll apply tags and then it'll create that AMI for us. If we check out Safari, we can see that as pending, not yet created, but it will be created momentarily. Great, so we have an AMI created that has used our shell provisioner and Ansible to set it up, install our basics and configure a application. I think it just runs the PHP info dump. And that'll be the base image that we can use in future videos to create new servers.